Lord our hands clap for praise. Amen. For he alone is worthy of all of us. Thank God for another privilege and opportunity to come before you and speak a word. Not my word, not your word, but the word of God. Amen? How many know that there is power in pain? Look at your neighbor and say there's power in pain. Marines say that pain is weakness leaving the body. And in our weakness we realize that God's strength is made perfect. Can you say amen? Amen. There's power in pain. Amen. As we celebrate the holiday season, some of us are experiencing pain if we were being truthful with ourselves. This is not always a time of happiness and celebration for everyone. Somebody's going through right now. You may be sitting here in this congregation, but just know that there's nothing too hard for God. And God won't put no more on you than you can bear. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Can you say amen? amen? Our scripture today will be coming from the book of 2 Corinthians. The 12th chapter, the first through the ninth verse. Glory to God. 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the first through the ninth verse. We ask that all young people stand. Y'all Y'all not old enough to make a decision to sit down when God's word Amen. is being spoken. Second Corinthians, the twelfth chapter, the first through the ninth verse. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ above. 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. Such a one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such a one will I glory. Yet of myself I will not glory but in my infirmity. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of revelations. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, not buffet, but buffet, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, my 
grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And as you're being seated, I like to use for a thought the sound of grace. The sound of grace. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we come now in your Son, Jesus, the Christ name. Father, we pray that I will decrease and that you will increase. Lord, that it will be none of me and all of you. Father, I yield my body as an instrument of righteousness. Lord, that you will speak through me. Holy Spirit, that you will speak for me. Lord, that I will leave your people with a message from on high, Lord. Lord, don't let us walk out the same way that we came in. But Father, we ask that you edify us. Father, most of all, that you will be glorified. And Lord, we thank you for victory right now. We're talking about the sound of grace. Oftentimes, we sing the song, Amazing Grace. Amen. One of the most familiar and most sung hymns in churches throughout America. Amazing Grace, written by John Newton, who was a driver of a slave ship who later became delivered. Amen. We don't know that in the beginning he thought the way that he did, but we realize through many toils, dangers, and snares that he came to realize that it's by grace. Amen. Here we see that this song was written and it captures the very essence and transforming power that God has over our lives. There's no other song that catches the essence of our lives as believers of Jesus the Christ quite like the song of Amazing Grace. We're talking about the sound of grace. Can you say amen? Amen. However, when I was growing up as a child, I used to hear people sing the song. And every time I heard the hymn song in church, there was one phrase in particular that stuck out to me. That one phrase that stuck out, it just didn't quite make sense to me. It said, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. So there must be a sound that grace has. That saved, it was the sound of grace that saved the reds like me. Now, did anybody hear what I just hear? It say the sound of grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Every time I heard the phrase up, I would just look around to see if anybody was thinking the same thing that I was thinking. You know, I was just a young boy at the time and we sang a whole lot of hymns that I did not understand that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me at the time. So I looked around to see if I were not the only one that was puzzled by this sound. Can you say amen? But I never found anybody that was puzzled. Then I thought about the other verse that says, I was blind, but now I see. Surely a blind person whose hearing is more sensitive can tell us what a grace sounds like. If it's something you can't figure out, 
The old folk was they just keep on living. And you'll figure it out after a while. And I believe that I've come to a place in life that I can understand what the sound of grace is. As we continue to live in this life, we all will come to recognize the sound of grace. Can I get a witness? The sound of grace. The sounds of grace are all around us. When our eyes are open, we will see that we don't have a reason to complain. Likewise, our ears open to the symphony of grace and salvation. For we are sinners saved by grace. Can you say amen? amen. Jesus is the Savior and grace is the announcement of salvation. Hallelujah. I say that Jesus is the Savior and grace is the announcement of salvation. In our scriptural text, we see that Paul wrote his second letter to the church at Corinth. He was describing a vision from the Lord. Can you say amen? amen. In his vision, he said that he heard unspeakable words. Words which is not lawful for a man to utter. Oftentimes we try to put the things of God into words. But when we try to put the things of God into words, it's an injustice which makes it unlawful. Just know that only God could have done this. Don't even bother to explain it. We're talking about the sound that only grace can make. Amen. Hallelujah. Just give the glory to God Almighty. In our weakness and in our infirmities is an opportunity to hear the sound of grace. Sometimes when things happen supernaturally, we are tempted to take the credit. Can you say amen? We want to boast of our skill and ability. For example, when we get a job and start making a little money, it appears that we can now provide for ourselves. Can you say amen? But we didn't hear the sound of grace until God woke us up that morning. What do you remember while you were sleeping last night? Absolutely nothing. But the person in the house or the person laying next to you could hear God's breath going in and out of your body. Say amen. God woke us up this morning. If God doesn't make a way for you to get up, you won't be able to get up. Can you say amen? You wouldn't be able to make it to that job. We're talking about the sound of grace. Can you hear me now? The sound of grace is so sweet that we forget about our human capabilities and what people think about us. And we just rest in the bosom of God for that moment. Can you say amen? I'm talking about the sound of grace. It could be that sound that your car make when it breaks, when you slam on brakes to avoid colliding with the car in front of you. Can you say amen?